Okay, so, I mean, we talked about, you know, you work with designers and those are artists and they make designs for you. And you, a few of your artists probably have designers they work all the time with. Like I know Mike works with Data Remember a lot and um, mm -hmm. he also works with Ice Nine Kills and he's his art is just amazing. But if somebody wants to break into this as a designer, as I know, a lot of people can design at home. They do it at home, you know, they get better and they love the bands, they wanna work with them. Is that mm -hmm. something like, let's say they literally sit down on their computer, who do they reach out to? Maybe specifically in Fly South's world, and I'm not trying to get you a bunch of emails, but specifically in your <laughs> world, and then in other worlds, like labels and things like that. Like, how do you establish those relationships? Yeah, I mean, for Fly South, we do have an email that you can email. It goes directly to me and send me your portfolio or Instagram. Like, Instagram these days is key. I have yeah. a band that sends me just, you know, they find an artist on Instagram and we're like, we really love this stuff. Like, and then I'll reach out via Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So we want to work with you. Yeah. I do get, you know, people that send emails through the, just the submission page or contact page on the fly South music group website. Um, and that's great too. So that's where I would start as far as record labels and all of that. I'm not sure, but I, you know, it just takes a lot of poking around, you know, just go to Melissa. Don't mess with anybody else. Yeah. Just come to me and then I'll, push you, you know, elsewhere to other places. But I would just, it used to be, there used to be this website called, I think it was called MTs. Yeah. I remember MTs. Yeah. And I think there's other websites now too, where you yeah. can go and just submit your design. And I used to use MTs a lot just to kind of like look for new, new designers and see different, you know, every Every designer has their own style. Just look for something specific and reach out to people that way. Unfortunately, I don't believe that site still exists, but... There's similar sites or something. Yeah, I'm sure there's similar stuff out there. And we'll figure it out. As you were saying that, I was thinking about just a random story. And I probably worked with you on this, but back when I toured with the Data Remember, they would see fan art that they really liked, even just on Instagram. And they would reach out to those artists and they would pay them and print their merch. And I thought that was so cool because, I mean, that's the best way to get good art with good lyrics and, you know, get it from the Yeah, fans. that is. I mean, that is another good way just by, you know, adding the band. But that does happen... A lot. I mean, with Haley, her solo um, album, there was a lot of fan art that she found that we used for merchandise. So just got to push yourself, get out there. Shoot your shot. Uh, music industry is so cool like that. You can just kind of do what works. And if the right person sees it's it's all about the right person seeing it at the right time and the right mood. Right. Like, oh, I do like this. I'm going to send it to Melissa. We're going to print that. Yeah, it is a lot of luck, but also hard. it is hard work too. I mean... Mm -hmm. I did a lot of, a lot of work to, you know, get where I am, but at the same time, you got to network and kind of get in there and meet people and do things. Like I, <laughs> I mean, I did, you know, like I said, I did graphic design and websites. I booked small tours for yeah. local bands. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do in the music industry, but I knew I wanted to be in it just because I loved music so much. So just kind of have to throw yourself into it and try to you know, figure it out along the way. But I definitely feel like internships are super helpful. And we started this podcast initially speaking more towards touring. And since then, it's mm -hmm. kind of evolved into just the music industry in general. And I think I found myself going down that path because everybody kind of starts one area and eventually goes to another and then another. Mm -hmm. And I think that it was really interesting to me that everybody just wants to work in music. They just have to find their path. And I like having people like you on who maybe have not, I don't know fully if you've never toured, but maybe haven't uh, toured for a living or just, you know, dabbled in it and have just gone kind of, I don't know what to call it, like the office route. It sounds like so unintentionally negative, but I don't mean it that way. It just, right. yeah, like the office route. Where do people usually start? I know you said internships are the best. Is this every management company and label, do they generally, do you guys have interns right now? Is that like a ongoing thing at most companies these days? Well, not since the pandemic where no okay. one's going into offices, but before that, yeah, most companies, you know, our office is located in Orlando and there's... By a coffee shop. That's really yeah, good. There's a university there uh, called Full Sail, which is mostly music and entertainment. So we get a lot of interns from there. Okay. But one of our, one of my coworkers, I feel like she did such a great job interning. You know, she interned, she went to school in Nashville um, at Belmont. She interned. Oh, nice. I know Belmont. We have some yeah. people on here that go there. That's amazing. Nice. 
So she interned at like a business business management company who, you know, they do accounting and just overall finances for artists and entertainment. She worked near, she interned at, you know, another uh, management company. And then through all of that is how she got kind of put into fly South because we were looking for someone at that point and she had made all these connections. So I feel like you just have to really put yourself out there You can't just like sit at home and think you're going to get a job in the music industry. (laughs) I mean, some people do, I guess, but it's not how it usually works. (laughs) I mean, and you can probably add more to this story. I know there's an amazing human that works with you guys named Bing. And Mm -hmm. Bing, I remember when he started with you guys because I was with, I did remember. And all of a sudden, this guy just showed up at our hotel with like passes and he was running VIP on the tour and nobody knew who he was yet. But now he's been with you, like he just worked, came out, did VIP and climbed his way up. And I think he's managing and, you know, he's at Fly South now as working for a a while. And it was cool seeing like, oh, he's just really doing the damn thing. Just working hard. Yeah. Bing and I started at the same time. Oh, really? Okay. It's really cool to see him and Elena, which is the coworker I was talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. She's amazing. You know, move up. They're much younger than me. So they've got that time, you know, (laughs) but yeah, it's, it is cool. It just goes to show like, again, if you really want it, you got to just get into it. doesn't matter, you know, figure, you don't need to figure out exactly right out of college, what exactly you want to do in the music industry. You just have to throw yourself in and you'll figure it out along the way. Yeah, no, that makes sense. 